Sup everyone, ladies and gentlemen, this is Woken Red Pill here. Today's topic I'm going to be talking about is the rise of baby mothers or baby moms and the decline in the American economy or the economy in general, okay? This is also a part for less work and rise of debt in America today. So here I go, let's get it. Those of you who, who's new to this channel, feel free to subscribe, comment down below. All is welcome. Share the video, like the video. Those of you who's just coming back, who's been subscribing to my channel for a while, welcome back to a new audio vid. So whenever people talk about baby mothers, there's always a defense mechanism or swarm of baby mothers or baby moms that comes and attacks other YouTubers for talking about these topics, especially if they feel offended by it. But if someone feels offended by it, why are you offended? You have to look at the facts. All the things that I'm going to say are facts and truth. And I'm, I'm not going based off my feelings. I'm going based off what I see and what I could see for the future and how everything is going. Okay, America is over a trillion dollars in debt. Okay, this includes co student loan debt, um, college debt, credit cards. This is including so much debt in this country. What do you think is going to happen when the debt is so high, the inflation or of the debt explodes? And there's an economy crash. What do you think will happen? A lot of drama will happen. This is the reason why taxes is increasing. And if taxes increase at an all-time high, a lot of people will be homeless and people will be suffering. And only the people who are rich will be the one that's surviving. People is warning people to stop having kids. I have kids myself. Don't get me wrong, kids is not a burden to me. Unless if it's a burden to certain people that never wanted a child. That's completely understandable. But for people that are recklessly keep popping out babies like it's candy, they gotta have a wake-up call. Because the more the cycle continues, the more bullcrap the kids are going, are going to go through. I hear the news. I listen to, to videos. I look at forums. People are talking about this. A lot of people feels like when they have children that they just gonna have the children because they want to. That's the most selfish behavior ever. And most women I know, and I've noticed, they're baby mothers for a reason. Because they choose a bad, horrible partner. Because even in most cases, that is the case. Other cases would be the husband was deceased, um, shout out to all the military guys who died in war to protect this, to p protect this country. Those who were actually, uh, those who were actually married, women who had nothing to do with the issues. But for those of you who knows what they're doing, there's teenagers that are recklessly having unprotected sex. And they are not educated enough to know the consequences deeply that long term, their children will be suffering. Children that makes children will be the ones suffering. They don't know how it's like in adulthood until they face adulthood. People think that they're an adult and they're mature until they actually are in a situation where they have to be an adult. A lot of kids now are making kids out of... Uh, um, an uneducated mindset, there's no daddy in the home, and baby daddies and baby moms, the ones who are deadbeats, they're the ones that creates irresponsible children because the children has no guidance, so they look for it in the streets, they look for it in other men, they look for it by sleeping around with other people. And that's where they have mommy and daddy issues on top of that. That cycle has to be broken. If people choose to let it be broken, but when they're exposed to this lifestyle, they think this is what life is. 
And once they think this is what life is, they recklessly keep popping out babies like it's no tomorrow. There's majority of single mo single mothers that I've seen, and what I from what I've heard, most of the cases in America, on average, it's out of spiteful reasons and selfish reasons. All the time, I hear cases of just put him on child support, just put him on child support, put him on child support. Oh, let him pay for that baby. He's gonna take care of his kid. I'm keeping this kid. He better come check this kid. It's always drama. They, they try to trap the guy. So many cases where women are selfishly trying to trap another man. I'm not bashing women, guys. I'm not. But on average, there are way more single mothers booming higher than ever. And there's a decline in marriage on top of that. Teen pregnancies is increasing at a higher rate. While debt is also increasing at a higher rate. Less jobs are being available at a higher rate. People cannot think and be so delusional to think every year there's always a new job available. There's there's less jobs available actually. The new ones that are opening up, those are for, for people that actually has a mindset and those jobs are made. Most of the jobs that are being made, right? Those top jobs are made for college students that has the credibility to actually make it somewhere in life. That's why in the future, even Obama said it. Even Obama stated that you're going to need a college degree in the future. This is where we're headed. Obama warned people, but people, it, it just goes on deaf ears. People don't want to listen. They don't want to listen until something happens to them. Then they finally, it finally hits them when reality comes in, when they're suffering, when children are suffering. There's children that are even suffering the most. It's not the parents. It's the kids. It's the selfish parents that choose to have these kids irresponsibly and not care deeply about the child's life. They don't care. And that's a lot of single mothers today recklessly keep popping out babies like it's nothing out of selfish, spiteful reasons. Always to keep a man, always think the man gonna change, always for money. These are the top three cases. Or another case is they just want the, they just want to have a baby just because they want the baby. Without thinking long term about what can you cheese a little boy? Is there a father figure around? You can't expect other men to take care of children that's not theirs. I'm sorry. You can't expect that. You can't force men to stay for a child that's not theirs. You can't force men to stay to have kids out of wedlock. Marriage is thrown out the window because a lot of people in society is accepting this type of behavior. What was once taboo and bad back then, it's now acceptable now. Everything that was, that was not acceptable in the 1970s, the 60s, the 50s, it's now acceptable in the 2010s and the 2020s. Instead of people being ashamed for single mothers and deadbeat dads, now people are praising single mothers, but they're bashing single, they, they're bashing deadbeat, deadbeat dads even more. Because we already know a lot of men that are deadbeats or fathers, they get the less respect or the least respect. But it's, they're, they're getting bashed a lot more. It's understandable, but this is how backwards America has become. America is backwards. It's like there's some satanic cult and demon in the air. And Satan is, is slowly working and indoctrinating people to accept the Antichrist and accept all these sinful bad behaviors. No marriage is, is involved. Marriage is not even the norm anymore. 30, 40, 50 years from now, I'm not going to, I won't be a surprise if marriage is obsolete. Abortions is allowed. Thou shall not kill. But people are constantly killing babies year after year after year. And people think this is okay. Even if you want to avoid killing another infant or a child they have life just like you because your parents could have killed you as well. People don't think, and there's a lot of people that are very ungrateful. 
there are a lot of people that are very ungrateful for the lives that they have that they waste it all the way by throwing it away to the garbage by being another single parent and not doing nothing with their lives. I have respect for the women and the people and the guys that actually choose to step up, be responsible, and know that they have consequences that they have to face. This is part of life. You have to be an adult. If you make your bed, you lie in it too. No one else is not going to take care of your mess but you. The debt is skyrocketing at an all-time high because of people and the way the economy is going. A lot of people wasn't taught on how to manage and make their own money. And they weren't taught how to take care of their own bills. People depend on bankruptcy. People depend on cash assistance. People are depending on the government too much. I get. I. I, I admit. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I got. I get help from the government, but it's not. It's not much. I still work. I still. I still bust my behind to get up every single day to take care of my kids and the apartment and all the bills and things that I lived for. And I have my own place now. And I'm happy about it. I'm not in the best. I'm not in the perfect place, but I'm aiming to do better because I want to reach middle class. That is my goal. You can't settle and be lazy on top of that at the same time. It doesn't go together and doesn't go well because people think that the job that they have, they're going to keep it for 20 years. And every year they say that tomorrow I'm going to make it. Tomorrow I'm going to do this. Tomorrow I'm going to apply for this college. And then you're still in the same position. I have coworkers that say that they're going to stay at this job for a year. They're going to stay at this job for another year. One, they don't even know what's going on all over the world. The more higher the debts will be increasing. And every time, every year when taxes go up, the minimum wage goes up. A lot of things is going to go up. A lot of foods back then, you could buy a whole crate of groceries that will last you about a month with 20 bucks back in the 1950s and 1940s. Now today, $20 will get you only like about eight, seven items. It wouldn't even get you much. And food stamps now are more strict than ever. Including Section 8. People always uh, is going to abuse these type of systems. Just like in the UK where they were given free housing to women who are single parents. Now that stopped from the last time that I heard. And this is in a different country. This goes to tell you how abusive these people are and how people take advantage of the system because they are too used to getting handouts. And a lot of women are thinking, well, if the father is not going to be around... The government is always going to take care of me. The government is always going to take care of my housing. They're going to take care of my bills. They're going to take care of my rent. They're going to take care of my kids. They're going to give me cash assistance, food stamps. And that is what creates an irresponsible, lazy behind welfare queen. That's what creates a lazy behind person who does not want to work or hold themselves accountable. They're indoctrinating a lot of these young women until it's too late. Then they realize when they when they hit when they hit reality, that's when they realize their kids are suffering because of them. Because people could avoid these type of situations. People can't stop blaming people. I hear people keep blaming another person for their own actions. People, both people, has to hold themselves accountable because you know what they're doing. If a man doesn't like to wear a condom, what do you do? I don't even support people committing fornication because in the Bible now, a lot of people like to pick and choose what they want in the Bible. That's, that's being called a hypocrite. You're two-faced. You can't pick what you want. You can't have your cake and eat it too.